Now, your exclusive Storm Team forecast from KTVO. Expect more. Well, the beautiful fall weather is going to continue for one more day before rain pushes in on a Thursday. But can it be into the 70s for this weekend? Well, possibly. We do have a we did have a beautiful day today with a lot of sunshine across the area. Temperatures topping out in the 60s across our viewing area, and we're going to continue uh, with an equally as nice night with mostly clear skies. Temperatures are right now 61 degrees and sunshine at the Kirksville Regional Airport. Winds are out of the east northeast at around six miles per hour. Uh, Tom Weather Station is not working at this moment, so still no data coming in for a Tumwa area but still into the 60s across southeast Iowa. Over the next 24 to 48 hours, we do have rain that will be pushing in late tomorrow night into the overnight hours early on Thursday morning. This is around 3 in the morning. So again, anytime after 1 to 2 o'clock in the morning, that's when we're going to start to see those rain showers move in and out very quickly. They should be out of here early into the afternoon hours on Thursday. We're not really producing very much, maybe less than a quarter of an inch of precipitation. Of course, the World Series game, game one, starts tonight. San Francisco Giants versus... The Kansas City Royals. It'll be very nice at 7 o'clock. It'll be about 66 degrees down in Kansas City with clear skies. And then as far as our overnight low, dipping down about 38 degrees. We should be about 41, so just a few degrees cooler than what we should be for this time of the year. Winds will remain out of the east at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Definitely need your jacket on the way to work and school. 38 degrees at 7 in the morning. 42 degrees by 9, so really not moving up very much, though we are going to see another great day with a lot of sunshine. Once again, temperatures topping out in the lower 60s, around 63 degrees. It will be a little bit breezy. Winds will remain out of the southeast, though, at 5 to 15 miles per hour. Well, we've got uh, very active United States across the central portions uh, into the central Rockies. That's where we're seeing the, our rain that's going to continue to push eastward as we're heading throughout the day on Wednesday into early Thursday. But if you are traveling, you've got too, a lot of activity on the eastern seaboard area. We do have a lot of tropical system moving and bringing a lot of rain into Miami and to central Florida. Uh, but we also have a nor'easter that's bringing in a lot of rain into New York area, New Jersey, all along the east coast. So again, after we get through this, we are going to see some drying conditions as we're heading into the weekend. And I talked about the 70s. Well, here they come. 63 degrees, though, on Thursday. There's that chance for rain, 70% chance. And then we're going to dry things out once again into the lower 70s. 72 on Saturday, Sunday, 73. And overnight lows staying pretty steady into the mid to upper 40s to near 50 degrees. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So if you do have outdoor plans this weekend... It's going to be A-OK -okay for that. Glad to see some 70s still in our future. I know. Point. It's very nice. All right. Thanks, Teresa.